hello friend this is Kishan uh, welcome to in this video tutorial in previous tutorial we have learned how to create the application context using class path XML application context in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the file system XML application context this is also one of the implementer of application context interface So let's go ahead and create a project in Eclipse. So let's create a new project. I would give the name uh, a Spring Application Context. This is the project we need to add the dependency so here add library we can add a spring library and I would like to add it this one as my workspace default JRE okay uh, before proceeding I would like to make one correction in my previous example which is related to my previous video tutorial in this video tutorial here we have typecasted right but when we when we use this API use text first parameter as the uh, bin ID and second parameter is the class in that class that in that case we should not typecast but if I remove the typecasting then I am getting an error the reason is that uh, if you go to the properties and compiler a Java compiler then here we have selected compiler version 1.4 so just select compiler 1.7 and apply this one say yes so in in that case we don't need to typecast right and this will work very fine okay so this was related to my previous tutorial now in this tutorial let's create uh, I don't want to create any model class uh, we can copy existing model class this class we can copy from our previous example so copy this one so this is just a model class employee which contains two private fields and corresponding public setter getter methods now i'm going to copy application context from my previous example here we have configure our employee class as a spring bean so bean id equal to employee and class equal to qualified name of uh, our employee class and we have initialized these two fields now let's write a client program so um, client class name client test so here we are going to create application context Now here we are going to use file system XML application context and I am going to use this one which takes a string as a as an argument. So here when when you use file system XML application context then in that case you need to a specified absolute path or complete path of your XML file so this is your complete path of your XML file 
so that I'm going to paste here. So guys, in Java, uh, backward slash slash or some character represent escape character. So here you need to specify double slash. So, so I run gone again. Now context colon get bin. I'm going to use this API which takes first as the bin ID and second is the class it's sorry R bin ID must be employee and this is employee dot class this will give you your business object okay so here also I think we need to change the compiler version so compiler here select 1.7 yes and so this give you the employee object and here we can print the object state so get employee id separate with tab get employee name and you can finally you can and select these things or surround with try catch you may have a finally block here you can close your application context so you need to declare outside of your check if application context not equal to null then close it so as I said close method is not available in the context so that is available in the abstract application context is abstract class and that this class implements application context interface so context object you need to type class into abstract application context then you'll be able to call close method which is available in the abstract application context class so this is the way to create application context using file system xml application context so let's run this application so uh, we are getting output now you can also create application context here we have given the double backward slash you can give even here single forward slash as well and this is gonna work okay if i run it then yes this is running perfectly fine now guys here we have used absolute path or com uh, I mean complete path of your XML file so this is not recommended approach so instead of specifying the complete path we should always specify the relative path and this is the recommended approach so relative path you can specify like this in your project project name you don't need to specify after under the need you have a SRC and within the SRC you have kept XML file so relative path you can specify like this if I run this application so it's running absolutely fine sometimes suppose if you don't want to <coughs> keep your <coughs> configuration file in SRC then you, you can put somewhere else as well like config <coughs> and this XML file you can put in configuration config folder in that case your absolute path would be sorry your relative path would be config slash application context.xml if I run this then this is running perfectly fine so guys <coughs> so this is the second way we, we can create object for your application context now third uh, 
implementer of application context is the wave xml application context so this class will look when we will learn a spring mvc so that's all i have in this tutorial guys so so to to get more update about my uh, recent video upload on youtube please subscribe my youtube channel and your feedback is really very important for us so please prov do provide your feedback as well thank you guys see you in next tutorial